In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can source and then prepare suitable timber for making a, a Brian May Red Special neck. Now you can see here in the, the shot, I've got a piece of unprepared timber, which I've marked up. I'm going to cut using my table saw and a piece which has already been squared up and planed, uh, suitable for cutting. So let's talk about this piece first. Okay, this is um, this came from a uh, salvaged mahogany fire surround. It was sourced by John Underhill. In fact, both of these pieces were sourced by John Underhill. Uh, so when we made the neck using my CNC machine for his build, we used another piece of this timber. It's very nice, very nice tight grain. It's a very nice piece of dry tone wood. And if we tap it, you get a nice sonorous ring from it. See so if you can hear that. So the second piece, it looks like some sort of shelf. Um, now I've had a look at this, we can get uh, two four inch wide uh, blanks from this with reasonably linear grain. With this piece in the middle, we've got some cathedral features in here. So the grain is much less linear. So I'm going to prepare it such that we end up with two neck blanks. I'll also square the ends off. So I'll just show you the other side. You can see that's uh, less satisfactory. There's actually some screw holes in the edge. Hopefully they won't go too far in. We'll see. And that's the other side of it. So it's a stain. It's obviously well-used timber. We've got this, this, this black, what is this, black mark running through it. So essentially I've assessed the timber and we think that the two strips along the edge a reasonably linear grain and they'll be suitable potentially for making two mahogany neck blanks from we'll try and avoid using this middle section but what i'm going to do with that is we'll throw it away we'll keep it use it as scrap timber but what i will do is salami slice it in effect so i'll get some maybe quarter inch up to half inch strips from it and what i'll do with those is if i have any slabs of mahogany which aren't wide enough for the, the cnc cut I'll glue them on the edge. Now, with the CNC cut, it's quite different if you're manually carving it. You need to retain the cut object inside a, a suitable frame. So we need to have plenty of spare timber at each end and at both sides. So this is the setup I'm going to use to cut this slab of mahogany timber. So we've got the Makita table saw set up. I've had to extend the bed a little bit using a a fire safe with a piece of 12 mil MDF board on there. Um, and that's just gonna help me keep the board at the right level as I pass it through the machine. Uh, I've got a Dyson vacuum linked up to the, um, the vacuum outlet. So we're gonna use that to try to uh, vacuum up some of the spoil that comes off it, generates a lot of spoil. We've got a Makita brand 80 tooth uh, saw blade fitted to this. And uh, just want to point out, if you're going to try this, please do use personal protective equipment. I've got a set of ear defenders and a set of safety glasses, and I've got some um, thin gloves on. So without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, the cutting of this mahogany timber.
So that's the job complete now. We've prepared all that timber. You can see I've managed to get the two neck blanks out of it and I've cut that middle section into strips. If we take a look at the state of our Dyson vacuum cleaner there, it's uh, almost half full of sawdust. It's a very, very fine sawdust as well. It's almost completely clogged that filter. It will wash and come off, but if I show you inside quickly, that uh, filter area is like a third full of very fine dust. So it shows you the efficiency of that 80 tooth Makita saw blade. It's almost giving you the same kind of finish you'd get on a planar thicknesser. It's also illustrating that you really should take the right precautions if you're going to prepare wood like this. I've used a, a, effectively a workshop vacuum attaching the Dyson to this Makita table saw. But if you're not confident or you don't have the right kit, then uh, try and find a friend who can help you out or see if your local timber yard will plane thickness or cut the wood for you.